Fool me once, fool me twice. Shame. When you're hiding things, might as well be lies. Can you ever get it right? Wait. How long will I let this shit fly? Hit up my girls, pull up, I'm outside. Wait about a curb. Too upset to drive, you get no money. We gon' get lit on this ride. Hey you guys, so it's your girl April, aka Muffin, and this wig is going to be a bomb ass wig. I really didn't expect this hair to come out like this, but you guys will see it. So this is from Amanda Hair, and it is an HD 13 by 4 lace front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the nape, uh, the lace off of the nape, and while I do that, I'm just going to show you guys real quick how the wig comes. Pictures on my phone. I won't spend another night at home. Okay, I'ma just be on my way. You'll see, I'm not the one you take for granted, babe. I know that life can be busy, love, but you make time for the ones you love. It's only right, it's what I deserve. Love, tell me. Things you do to make me stay now it's like you don't even try I used to wonder why All right you guys so let's get into this tutorial for Amanda Hair This is the first time I've ever worked with them so I really didn't know what to expect from this wig but it actually came out really nice after I bleached it and then pre-plucked the hairline like I was amazed It is an HD Swiss lace frontal 13 by 4 180% density and it is 24 inches. Now, yes, I am going to be using this hot comb just to smooth the hairline down because I want it to be flush to my head. You don't have to do this because it is a wavy unit, but because the root is kind of straight, I just figured I would just make it look a little bit more natural. Now I am going to try a different application method this go around. You know when you watch YouTube, you see all these different type of tutorials and you say, hey, I'm going to try it out myself. Now you know how I normally apply my lace wig. I always make a part at the hairline and I spray the hair spray in between the part. Well, I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do it a little bit different because I really wanted to see how the application method is. So this is what I'm doing. I'm using my bed head hairspray and I'm just going to spray it all around the perimeter of the wig hairline and I'm just going to use my comb to brush it in or you know smooth it in and lay it flat into my hairline. This actually did work you know it did hold the wig super tight like I'm glad it did because I did leave it on it was my birthday hair even though I didn't go anywhere I did still have to look cute okay but it did work the application process it was super easy and makes your wigs lay a lot more flusher to your head um to me it does however you do need to make sure you don't spray the hairspray too far down because it will stick the wig further down so the only issue that i had was there was too much lace stuck down on the hairline and I really don't like to have all of that lace on my unit after it's cut I just feel like everybody can see it so I am going to be cutting off the lace like here and like I said this was the first time I've ever tried this and I wanted to see what the difference was now granted I think this you can probably hold your wig a lot tighter 
Um, you probably lead, need less hairspray depending on how you do it. The way that I do it is simple and easy as well. You can also, you know, have a good application method as well, but you know, it's always nice to change it up every now and then, but it also depends on the lace you're using. So with this one, I didn't even need any baby hairs. So listen, girl, some of those lace wigs, you still need some baby hairs. So you might not be able to do that with every single lace wig, because like I said, some of them, you need baby hairs. Now, because the wig was a little bit too large, or not too large, but you know, they come average size, so sometimes they may be overlapping your ear, depending on how big your head is. So I just cut directly above my ear, and I removed that excess lace off of the wig, and you know, I just discard it. It's not gonna ruin the wig at all. Now this is the part right here where the lace was kind of like too much hairspray was on the lace. So I had to like, you know, pull it up some, unattach it. And you see right there, it's still a little bit too much lace for me. So I just take my comb and kind of like lifted some of it up and cut away at it. I just really don't like to have a lot of lace left over after I'm cutting. I don't know, I just feel like the whole world is gonna see it. And I'm just gonna cut away a little bit extra more on this side, lifting the unit up so that way I can get rid of some of the excess lace at the hairline. But if you like that amount of lace, then that's you. You know, each person is different. And just to lay it back down, I just sprayed a little bit more of the hairspray. I do think that Amanda hair has some nice affordable units. That's why I was kind of pleasantly surprised when this one came out this way. And y'all know me, I love a good curly or wavy wig because I don't have to do too much. I don't have to put too much heat to it. You know, I don't have to style it. But with this one, you can definitely put heat to it. You can change the curl pattern. Meaning if you want to wear it straight, you can just definitely take a flat iron and, you know, straighten it. It will revert back to its natural curl pattern or you can just add, add extra curls. It's all up to you guys, but it, the curl pattern will revert back to its original curl pattern. However, over time, try not to use as much as the high heat on it because sometimes the curls will not revert back over time. And just a little sideburn hairs and voila, there you have it. Now because some of the waves did kind of like come out while I was styling it, I'm just gonna take my spray bottle with my leave-in conditioner and just wet the hair. The curls pop right back into place and it looks cute when it's wet. I think it looks really nice. Reminds me of like some beachy type hair. So there you have it, the finest, finished final look. Cute, you know what I'm saying, really cute. The lace is really acceptable. I was surprised, like I said. They have some really cute wigs. You have to definitely check them out, follow them on their social media and all that good stuff. But I definitely was feeling this unit. I really was. I thought it was super cute. It's lightweight. You could pull it up in a ponytail if you want to. Keep that hair off of your neck during the summer heat. Or if you're like me, you wanna try a flip over method like this. This is how I get more volume. I'll part it on one side and then I'll just pull it over from the opposite side. That gives it more volume. That's just my trick for more volume on the opposite side, parting it and then just flipping it over. Or 
also because the hairline is so bomb you can just pin it you can corn roll it on the side you can corn braid it on the side or you can just twist it on the sides like i did with two clips and that way you can really stay cool you can either do it on one side i like it with one i like it both ways i like it with one clip and then i like it with two clips but either way it's hot as hell out here in arizona 117 degrees while i was recording these videos so your girl don't want to be too hot but i hope you guys enjoyed this video for real i love you guys make sure you rate comment subscribe i will leave all of the information down below in the description box stay safe out there please stay cool because it is definitely hot you know what i mean check out amanda here let me know what you think as always you guys and i guess i love you and i will see y'all in a soon to come video